I'm going to jump into doing some words that include the letter X. And I'll start off with a simple word, and it relates to when you're dating someone and then you break up, you call them your X. It's an E because it's an expression outward, and an X because it's centered on something else. So they're the person who was once with you, so their X, they're expressed, and their center is away from you. An X. Now the word flex, form, force, or familiar, as it lies, expressing its center. When you flex, you're expressing something. You can stand there flexing. You can flex a muscle. You can have a little bit of flex to you because it's your form, force, or familiar as it lies, expressing its center. Flex. Now the word lexicon. The average definition for the word lexicon is a vocabulary list pertaining to a certain subject or an occupation or something like that. When you say what's in your lexicon, it means the way you're going to address things in language. Now, in Latin and other names, lex means law. Because who makes up the law? People that say it and decree it, right? That's why lex and law and language expressed are equal in meaning. It's just the things that come along with them are completely different, but that's what they mean. So it's as it lie, expressed, center, identified, constant to itself, ongoing notion. So if you're saying law, as in lex, you're saying the active base expressing the center, the law, the things that happen. Now when you say lexicon, it's the icons you're using for the law or for the rule of whatever you're pertaining to. If it's a certain vocabulary list for a subject of some kind, the lexicon to do with that are the words or the laws icon that you ling, express, center, identified, concept, ongoing notion, the lexicon. Now the word dexterity. Most people refer to that when somebody has skill with their hands or when they're very agile, they're able to do things and perform them well. That's dexterity. So it's the to and from expressed center plus expressed reference identified plus vital identity. So you're giving a vital identity to somebody doing things well. It's the to and from expressed center plus expressed reference identified. So it's saying what this identified thing is doing and how they to and from do it. D-E-X, then T-E-R. D and T are forms of the same sound. D and T. So one is saying to and from, D, expressing center, plus express reference, identified, plus vital identity. I said it slow like that so you could follow along and try to really put it together. See how dexterity makes so much more sense when you know what letters mean. Next, how about the word example? Now, if you know what ample means, it means a good amount of or plenty of ample, active, manifested, placement, potential, as it lies expressing. So it's activating a manifested potential, something in placement, as it lies expressing, ample. So if you give an example of something, you're expressing the center of an active, manifested potential or placement, as it lies expressing. You're giving somebody some of something you have ample of. See how that is? Now the word exit. Now just like we had the word X when somebody is expressed away from you, centered, they're your X. Now when we say exit and put that together as one word, we're expressing the center identified plus. We're leaving something. We make an exit. So there's the word exit. We can't forget the word oxygen. The air in which we breathe and the element we take from it. We call it oxygen. The ongoing center vitally identified generated and grouped expressed notion. So it's the ongoing center vitally identified generated and grouped expressed notion. What you breathe, what we center on, oxygen. The word vex, V-E-X, to irritate or annoy somebody, to vital, express, and center. So from a vital, you express something on a center of something else. You vex somebody, it irritates them. Now think of being annoyed or irritated. That's something that's centered in somebody. So when you vitally express that to somebody in their center, and they are centered on something that annoys them, that's when you vex somebody. The word proxy, when you have somebody else represent you or when you represent somebody else by proxy, you can say that I'm representing this person by proxy. So it's the peace, placement, or potential reference ongoing. Now, on that center, vitally identify. So you're representing something by proxy. 
Now, if you've been listening to any of the things I've been saying for long enough, you'll see that this does transcend all languages. It's just easiest when you use the English version, at least for me, because that's what I learned primarily. The next word is sort of simple. X-I. Xi. It's the 14th letter of the Greek alphabet. Think of what 14 in our alphabet is. N. It's that shape of a lowercase n, something that's happening in this now notion. X-I is a centered identity because it's this thing that is shaped like a lowercase n in this now identified thing. So it's centered identified. Next, xylophone. Centered, vitally identified as it lie ongoing, in place, here, ongoing notion expressed. It's an instrument that you hit in place, vitally identified that makes placement here ongoing notion expressions. Xylophone. The word Xerox. Centered, express reference, ongoing, center. When you make copies of something, so it's centered, expressed reference, now an ongoing center of that same reference. You make copies of it. How about xenophobe? One who hates strangers and foreigners. Somebody who doesn't like anything they don't know. Centered, express notion, ongoing. See how that is? Centered, expressed, notion, ongoing. Place, here, ongoing, base, expression. Someone who doesn't like anything that they don't know. How about the word axis? Active, center, identified, subject. Okay, so if you have something that's active and its center identity is the subject, that's the axis. That's going to be it for this episode, and I will talk to you all soon. Until then. Peace and God bless.